Hey, this is William from Variable Traders, and today we're going to look at tape reading, time and sales, how to trade on the time and sales. For a lot of new traders who have never learned about this, this is going to be eye-opening for you. It's going to be really interesting, all right? But first things first, how do we pick a stock that might be in play? I listen to the pre-market show we put on every morning on YouTube with Norman Carlos, just like all of you, and today... Norm noted that AMD gapped up significantly with volume, which means it could be in play. So thank you, Norm. Then I scrolled over to the 60 and 15 and I saw, wow, all the moving averages are below the price action, which makes it act as support. Look at the 20 on the 15. Someone was buying it up off those moving averages and there's no overhead resistance. Same thing on the two and the five. All the moving averages are below no overhead resistance so i'm loving this for long and on the one same thing i have my harmonious chart i'm not longing into resistance now note that one trade right there that i did long that's a pre-market trade and i am trying to learn how to trade pre-market and when i do that i take significantly small share size when i start any new strategy or when i practice something so that's not the trade we're going to note all right i did trade it pre-market but not the main trade and it was extremely small share size Tape reading skill and using the time and sales is a pretty special thing because it gives you information independent of our candlestick setups, independent of our gap ups, independent of moving averages and view app. It shows you actually the outcome of all the traders from around the world, not what they're thinking, but what they actually decided to do. It shows the volume of how big their independent trade was and if they show if it's in green, it means they bought it. If it's in red, it means they sold. If it's in black, it means they got in between the spread. What this tells you is if you have a setup, like for me in this example, I was looking for a long because I have all the moving average support. I had a daily gap up. Uh, View app was acting as support also. And I wanted to go with that trend. Now within that trend, I need to find a good buying opportunity. I want to trade on the coattails of the other traders. So I want to go with green buyers. And you see all these buying and selling. You see some green, you see some black, you see some red. It just flashes all over the place. But you don't see any significant share size yet. Watch the share size. You see that? You see hundreds, you see under hundreds. You see flash of red, all those are hundreds. That's not that many shares. You see a black uh, some black there was a 5,000 but that was in between the spread that wasn't someone buying or selling that was getting in between the spread see more red some black some green but all this is very small this is the battle between the bulls and the bears and there's not a direction yet there's no big player pushing this with a ton of green buying or trying to short with a ton of red selling with volume you need significant volume so there is going to be a point coming up here when we see all green and finally the share size start to get interesting. It's not only hundreds and five hundreds and seven hundreds, it's thousands, it's two thousands. And right when I saw that here, I'm going to slow it down right now for you. Right when I see this, you see that 2200, 2400, 2700, 1300, 2100, 1300. This is where I want to jump in. I want to get in with someone's picking a direction here and it's going in the way that I want which is the long anyways so let's jump in and you'll see I'm instantly up about 12 cents after I get in which is a lot for AMD so that's the start of the move right there so right when I see that I hit my hotkey to get in I want to go with the buyers I want to go with all the green buyers with significant share size and I get filled and then I hit it again because this is the type of trade I want to be in so now I'm going to increase it to full speed so you can see I'm instantly up about 12 cents on this trade. I'm feeling great. It's trying to bust through 27.3. Now to get my green buyers right there, it holds a little bit. It found some resistance. No problem. This is just noise on the one minute. I have my setup. It's going to test it back up. But now let me slow this down again. Look what I happen to be trading against. You see that 17,000 share order? Whether or not that trader was selling for a profit or shorting right then, Either way, they are not buying with my long idea. And in a second here, you're going to see a second 17,000 order right there. 17,800. Now we've got 35,000 shares, which is significant right now. And that's going to lead to a little leg down. And I thought I might stop out on here. 
I had a manual stop right below 27 until it gave me a leg up and then I would put in a hard stop. So you're gonna see what happens. It gets more interesting here. So you're gonna see this price action dip down after those two 17,000 share orders came in, but watch what props it back up. This is when the bulls officially win. You see that 35,200 share order? Don't miss right under it either, 14,800. That is most certainly a combined order of 50,000 or more. And 35,000 of that was buying, which means they wanted it right then. This is what you want to do as a trader. You want to understand who's going short, who's going long, figure it out within your setup, and then go with the wave, ride the wave. So watch what happens after that order materializes. So that 50,000 share order was at 27.12, and sure enough, that marks the low of the day. It never looks back. That order now props up the price, and that player is probably now collecting shares and buying more. And you're gonna see more really big buying on the time and sales here in a second. I'll pause it again for you. But now you get all the little guys jumping in. And whether you know it or not, you're trading along with that or you're trading against that. So we need to know that. Now watch this, it's another big order coming in right now. So you're gonna see a 40,000 share order right here and now 10,000 more right there. That's 50,000 more shares. Maybe one order, maybe two orders, maybe three, but they are buying together. That is how a move happens. You get a big order coming in, you get other people jump in, you get algo seeing that, you get a five minute break, a pre-market high break. Now you got all these things happening at once. So now it's on 15 times market speed and I start to partial out. I get a two to one, then I set limits for every 10 cents. AMD isn't usually a big runner, but on a day like this with my harmonious chart, with the big buyers, with the gap up, this is the day I need to let my winners run. So I know this, this video wasn't explicitly for brand new traders to understand time and sales and how to read the tape, but I hope it gives you some insight and also for the intermediate and even advanced traders to understand all of this stuff happens whether or not we see it it's happening on the level on the level two and the time and sales and the tape and if we can learn to read that and incorporate that into our trading boy that is what we want to do so please ask any questions if you have any and i i will definitely answer them hope you guys have a great day